Hello everyone, welcome to Dawn's PC Guide. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the deep web, how to use the deep web, and how to browse anonymously. I will also be showing you, of course, how to install this browser, just in case you need any help. Today I'm trying something new. We're going to be using chapters in this YouTube video, so if you already know this content, you can skip to the part that you don't already know. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off with talking about the deep web. So what is the deep web? Well, starting off, the surface web is what we normally browse. So if you're just Googling something, you're searching the surface web. So you'd find sites like Facebook, you'd find all those other just normal sites that you could browse and find on Google. Now the deep web is all the rest of the iceberg. The surface web is just the tip of the iceberg. Now inside of that deep web, there is the dark web. So the dark web is the less than legal side of the deep web, and it only comprises of about 6% of all websites. Now, we're gonna be accessing the deep web today, and to access the deep web, we need Tor Browser, because we're searching for stuff that is not listed by any normal search engines. Now, you may be wondering, what is Tor Browser? Tor Browser is completely free and open sourced. Fun fact, the technology was actually developed by the United States Navy in around the 1990s. This technology was used so that transmissions could not be intercepted. Um, it would protect the communications. And basically what this technology is, is a VPN that keeps routing your traffic to different nodes so that nobody can intercept and find out who you are while you're browsing. This means that unlike incognito mode on the Chrome browser, your internet um, browsing history and everything that you do online is not accessible by your internet service provider. So you can actually stay completely hidden with your traffic. Another fun fact about Tor is that the vast majority of people do not use it to search the deep web. Rather, they search the surface web completely anonymously. This is extremely useful for the growing trend of keeping your data yours. This way, no websites will be able to keep your data as long as you don't log into any services. So this is where the warning comes in. If you log in to any services such as Gmail or anything that requires a login, the anybody can actually figure out who you are because you used a login. So if you're searching Gmail or doing something like that, growing through your Facebook, don't sign in on Tor, just use your regular browser. Now let's get to actually installing the Tor browser. I'm not going to put a link into the description this time, since all you have to do is just search up Tor. So we're gonna type out Tor and enter. Now we're gonna click on this Tor project right here. We're gonna make sure that it's in the language that we want, and we're gonna click download. So nice and easy, that's gonna pop up and we are going to choose our operating system. So we're on Windows. Let's click on that. And now it's gonna download the installer. When we are going to actually install to our browser, I recommend that we at least put a shortcut on the desktop so you can access it easier. There we go. We'll open up that installer. Okay, now that the installer is open, we're gonna select our language and then where we actually install it to. So I'm gonna put it to the desktop. Make sure that you have it to the desktop. Otherwise you'll have to search it up every single time. I already have it installed, but I'll just create a new direct, uh, directory. Now that that's installed, we're just gonna click Run Tor Browser and finish. Boom, so there's our Tor Browser right there. Okay, now we're up and running with our Tor Browser. The first thing I'm gonna show you about this browser is the security levels. So we're gonna click on advanced security settings just so we can change the security level and look at them. So standard is all of the features are enabled. So you can actually watch YouTube videos, you can do any of that stuff. The further you go for how safe it is, the more things it's gonna disable. So for safest, even JavaScript is, uh, script is disabled, including some fonts, icons, mass symbols, and images. Audio and video for HTML5 
is also click to play. So that one's going pretty darn strict. I just browse at the, sta uh, the standard level. Now the one big drawback to using the Tor browser is that the browser is a little bit slower. So if I search up .onion sites, which is what we're going to search up next, you'll see that it does take a little bit to load those websites. This is due to the fact that they are routing your traffic through a few different nodes to keep you anonymous. Now it's time to show you how do we find these unlisted sites. So DuckDuckGo is the browser that Tor uses. If you just search up .onion sites, then we'll just click on whatever shows up and we can just explore a cool new site. Now I'm not allowed to show you what actually showed up when I click on those since um, those links could actually be less than legal, but um, you get the point. You can just click on that yourself if you're curious. So that wraps up our video on how to access the deep web. Comment below whether you already knew about Tor Browser. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Hit that bell for more videos. Have a great day, everybody.